Now we're cooking with gas. Um, honey, we have an electric stove. Well, if we were really, you know, like authentic New Orleans people, we'd be cooking with gas. But we have an electric stove. So we can't. So we're just going to say we're cooking. But I don't like cooking with electric, though. <laughs> it's what we have. <laughs> There's no changing it right now. I'm changing enough stuff in one room. I'm not. <laughs> no. Just no. Fine. We'll just cook with electric then. I mean, we have a gas grill. We do. I guess we do cook with gas every once in a while. We get to cook our clothes dry. <laughs> no, we have an electric dryer. Why do we have an electric? I thought we had gas. Why did I think we had gas? We had a gas dryer when we moved in. Oh. And then we exchanged it for the... Yes. Now I put the electric dryer oh, that's that right. I already had. That's why, why we ran the electric back there. I don't know. It's one of them muddle fuddle Mondays. It's just another muddle fundle Monday. Is it Muddle Fuddle or Muddle Muddle Fundle? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's one of the Muddle Fuddle days, so it could be Muddle Fuddle or Muddle Fundle. It depends on what my brain says. Does it depend on what letter the day ends on? I don't know. Because all the days that ending in Y <laughs> are Muddle Fundles. Fundles? Muddle, muddle, muddle. You can't say it muddle, either. Business. No. I think I got bit by a mosquito on my lip. It feels swollen right oh, here. Oh, sure. Uh-huh. No, really. It, oh. Seriously. <laughs> oh, it feels swollen. Yeah, it is. I think I got a bit by a mosquito while we were outside for that brief time that I was sitting outside with you. Stupid dog needing to have his ball thrown. What's up with that? You got bit by a mosquito, and now your lip is swollen. Yep. Now you're going to be muddle-fuddling through this podcast. Yeah, so if I slur my words, it's only because the left side of my mouth is swollen. <laughs> okay, I think we sufficiently tested. <laughs> oh, you were recording. <laughs> yes, I was. Did you not notice? I did notice. I was being <laughs> silly. Of course. Of course you were. Of course you were. All right, well, let's get this thing started now. <laughs> In five. Four, three, two, one. Welcome to We'll, we'll figure, figure It Out. Today on We'll Figure It Out, we are going to figure out disagreements. How we handle them and what to do when you have them. I just don't have them. I mean, basically. But there are times when we disagree on things. I strongly <laughs> disagree. You disagree that we disagree? <laughs> <laughs> Double negatives is a positive. So, okay. I'll roll with that. <laughs> I carry a different perspective. <laughs> Oh, how, where do you carry that? In a duffel bag. Where is that duffel bag? I've never seen it. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the floor of our bedroom? Yes, where everything else is. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> like half the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> the half of the bathroom is not on the floor of our bedroom. No, some of it was, but then I moved it out. Oh, goodness. The situation with the mic again. Trying to get it close enough to me that you can actually hear me, but not have it fall on me. She was doing an improper mic drop. <laughs> the mic fell on me. That's not a mic drop. I disagree. It was a mic drop. <laughs> so now you have disagreements. <laughs> okay. So let's. So let's... how are you going to handle that? How am I going to handle that? I'm going to laugh at you and move on. <laughs> that's that's one way to handle a disagreement. Laugh at them and move on. 
or give a dirty look. <laughs> That's the one that you use the most. It works. It does. <laughs> I will disagree with him on something and he'll just look at me. He will say nothing and he will just look at me and I'm going, yeah, I'm being unreasonable, aren't I? <laughs> Maybe. So, how do you think we handle disagreements? Are you asking me or are you asking the audience? I mean, <laughs> they're not going to be able to answer us where we can hear them, but they can certainly find us on our social medias, on Instagram, Mama Boys Nola, on Facebook, Mama Boys Nola, on Twitter, if I'm ever there, maybe one day I'll remember to Twitter, to tweet, whatever it's called, and Mom of Boys Nola. Is that it? Is that all the, and, you know, YouTube, Mom of Boys, Boys Nola. And this week, we have our new logo, uh, one of my cow friends. She is an artist. Moo. <laughs> and she designed a new logo for me, and I absolutely love it. It is perfect. So if you haven't seen it yet, go to Instagram, go to Facebook, check it out. Let me know what you think. And we launched our YouTube channel, and the podcast is going to slowly be added to the YouTube channels. And when we, so we're going to be posting every Monday and Thursday until we catch up to the current episode. And then we will just be every Thursday like the podcast. So there's another thing. We'll figure it out. Adulting and parenting over 40 is on YouTube. Because there's 18,000 we'll figure it out podcasts. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have a better catchphrase. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't think we could go with everything has a point. It just needs to be sharpened. Oh my gosh. There's a shirt for you. I'm, I'm working on the design for the Muddle Fuddle Monday shirt. So anyway. Yes. So if you want to answer it as a question being asked to you, audience, I'm talking to you. Pause the podcast now and then go, you know, send a message saying how you think we handle disagreements. <laughs> then come back and listen. Because if you wait till the end, then you have the answer that we already are gonna give you <laughs> and that that would be cheating so your choices are number one knock out drag out argument with yelling and screaming number two dirty looks number three ignoring the other person and laughing and number four physical violence how about number five? We just discuss it. <laughs> That's another one. That's another option. <laughs> You've got multiples in there of violence of some sort. <laughs> Yelling and screaming. Yes, it can and be violent. And the knockdown drag out. You know. Argument. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. See what I'm up against? She wants to beat me up. All she wants to do is have the opportunity to put my eye out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, you know, was it, is it on this YouTube video that's coming up? I think the YouTube video that's coming on Mama Voice Nola channel on Tuesday, you are the one that almost put my eye out. It doesn't count. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't intentionally doing anything. <laughs> when have I ever it intentionally? Wasn't, it wasn't during an argument. <laughs> Which apparently you don't think we have. So there you go. What we have is nothing compared to what I've experienced in the past. So therefore we don't argue. That is very true, okay, and I this agree. Is my valid point. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yes. I agree with that. I agree with that. Oh man. So, we disagree well. <laughs> That's what you're saying. <laughs> Our arguments are meh and move on. I mean... <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Can you think of the last time we had a disagreement? 
This bathroom has had differences of opinions, if not disagreements. <laughs> not necessarily disagreements, per se, on the bathroom. I, I can't say that I have had too much in the way of disagreement on it. Just maybe a different idea of direction, but we figure that stuff... Yeah, you know, we both seem to look at it at different ways to come to something to agree upon. Well, yeah, so I'm trying to think of the last thing we were talking about that we were kind of like back and forth about, but I can't, I cannot recall at this moment, but let's just say that, you know, I'm sure we had a dif difference of opinion on how to go about like tearing the bathroom apart, right? At some point. I, th I think I recall having a discussion about the best way to go about it. Do you? I vaguely recall-ish. Right. It's, it, it, the incidents are not strong enough to stick with me. To, <laughs> right. to say, oh, that time that you said this. Yeah, that kind of helped. Yeah, that... So I, that's another thing, is like when we do disagree on something, we talk about it. We come up with a, either a compromise or the other one defers to the other person. Like, <clears throat> let's just do an example, okay? So we're, we're ripping down, you know, sheetrock and tile in the bathroom, and there's a ton of tile. And actually the sink, the, the, the countertop sink, I was like, just take a sledgehammer to it, and you're like, no, we're going to take it out piece by piece and I'm just like just take a sledgehammer to it which it will be revealed in the video coming Tuesday why the sledgehammer was not a good idea and Jeremy's method was best <laughs> <laughs> so yes something about a floating countertop <laughs> mm -hmm. just something told me don't go destructinating. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might have hurt Jeremy more than it would have hurt the countertop. So. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I mean, we did kind of disagree on that. You know, he did wind up using the sledgehammer a little, but not, you know, to the extent that I would have tried and probably would have killed myself. So, you know, it was, this is my idea. This is my idea. But he's the one implementing the idea, so he got the, the the overriding decision on that. Because I wasn't gonna swing a sledgehammer. I did not need to break my neck, so <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need to break my head when that thing came bouncing back on me. True, you would have really put your eye out then. <laughs> it doesn't count when you're seeing stars. <laughs> <laughs> that's your new phrase for this episode is it doesn't count <laughs> like yeah. everything doesn't count yeah <laughs> oh my gosh so we kind of touched on this a little bit in the episode about blended families you know when it comes to parenting children that are not ours and how we deal with that we we do have two very different parenting styles. I mean, I guess it's not very different, but my parenting is much more restrictive than his parenting was. And my kids are vastly different than his kids, too. So there's that. We So we parent differently, and then we have discussions about how to parent very different kids with very different parenting methods together which is interesting but it never it's never resulted in an argument no i mean for the longest time i just used shock collars on the kids oh my and... gosh really no <laughs> <laughs> i meant like really you're gonna say that on our podcast <laughs> Not like really did you do it. I know better that you did not do that. <laughs> Colin would have told me before I married you if you would have used stock collars on them. No. And he would have been like, D, are you really sure? Because my dad uses shock collars. <laughs> he wouldn't have said a word because as soon as he mentioned shock collar, he would have gotten shocked. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I'm a firm believer in not using shot collars. <laughs> On children? I think. God, you're killing me tonight. Oh, I think I'm crying. <laughs> oh, we don't even use shock collars on the dogs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, man. So, how do you think... I don't know. I... <sighs> in my other relationships in my life, Whenever there was a discussion of differences, somebody always had to be the person that was right. And it usually wasn't me. So, do you think it's that we have similar personalities and histories with fighting that we come at this differently? Or do you think that our personalities are just that well matched together? I'm asking That's thinking, you. I, I'm thinking a lot of it has to do with past experiences and changes <laughs> how we react to each other mm -hmm. as opposed to what reaction we may have gotten previously. I know, I guess I've kind of learned some temperance in certain ways, but I have a tendency that, you know, we've discussed this before. I match energies, but I don't seem to do that with you. I know. It's weird. Hold on. Interruption number one. I do not know why that child wants to sleep on the couch every night. That couch is so uncomfortable. <laughs> that couch has been through hell. <laughs> <laughs> it was fine until, you know, we started letting the cashmere up on it and then it just seems like from then on it was just like toast i mean i guess he just licks it enough that it just you know disintegrates almost <laughs> i don't know it's disgusting anyway so that was noah interrupting us to tell us good night <clears throat> and that he wants to sleep on the couch again and to find out what was on the schedule for camp tomorrow which it was like a three-hour ordeal last night of finding the calendar. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm just like, why is this so important? And to come to find out, he was trying to figure out what day he could wear his pajamas because they're going to have a movie day. And I'm like, why didn't you just ask me that? <laughs> like, why didn't you tell me why it was so important? Like, it was just like, I, I need, need my calendar. <laughs> I need the calendar. I'm the like, calendar. I'm gonna die. <laughs> but I don't find the calendar, and I'm like, why is the calendar so important? I don't know what happened to it. And to come to find out, the dogs ate half of it, <laughs> and it was on the piano. And I was looking everywhere but the piano. <laughs> oh my gosh! I found it though. Yes, Jeremy did. I'm a finder. Usually, if I can't find it, you can. And if we can't find it, we go out and buy a new one. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you were talking about how typically you match energies, but when it comes to me, you yeah, don't. I don't seem to have that reaction. And that I, I can't say that I've made a conscious adjustment to myself for that, so I, I can't explain why that happens with you. I don't know either. That would be, that would be a question for the professionals, maybe. Yeah. You know, in our relationship, you're the one that seems to get snippy quickly. Yeah. And those are the times when I can just look at you and you're like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the dirty look <laughs> reaction. It's like, why are you snipping at me? And I don't have to say that. But that's <laughs> the look that I get. <laughs> it's that 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 half cocked eye look, like. Really? <laughs> Is that what you're going with? That <laughs> response? You you may want to rethink that. <laughs> and I <Just> do. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> snipping at you, and you did not deserve that, did you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> then I either remove myself to go calm myself down, or I just adjust. Interruption number two. False alarm wasn't a real interruption. <sighs> so, 
when it comes to me and disagreements with you or differences of opinions, I usually, if it's something that I am doing and he has a different perspective on it, it's usually like, okay, how would you do it? Or I would do it this way. And I'm like, well, I can't do it that way. So I'm going to do it this way. And I just make the decision to disagree with you and move on and do it my own. <laughs> and then you don't fight me on it. So it's not a big deal. <laughs> why, why fight on right. it? <laughs> you just asked my input, but that doesn't mean you have to do what I told you. <laughs> right. So, you know, that's... <laughs> and I just kind of like, you do it the way you want to do it. If it doesn't work, then you change it. Right. So allowing the other person to do things the way that works for them goes a long way. And, you know, makes that person feel like they have the freedom to control their surroundings a bit. I know that was a big issue for me in a different relationship is... Pretty much every action I did during the day was controlled to the other party's liking. And that is a miserable way to live where you have to conform everything you do to somebody else's preferences. So I guess, you know, with that in mind is why when I disagree with Jeremy about something, I... Typically, you know, if it's something he's doing, I'm not going to tell him how to do it, you know. But if he's folding my clothes, then I'm going to ask him to fold it the way that I like it to be in my drawer. But if he doesn't want to fold it that way, then he can just let it sit in the basket and it'll never get folded because I don't fold clothes. <laughs> and I have this thing about wanting the clothes out of the basket and put away because, you know. It's just one of those things for me within the last probably eight to ten years it's become one of those things yeah i used to be the guy that used to have the the den in the old house i had a futon and when i would do laundry it would come out the dryer and pile on the futon and just sit there but then somewhere along the lines i was like no i can't keep this this has to be done and put away it's just it, it started to get on my nerves. So, when I do laundry, she has a certain way that she'll fold clothes, and I have a certain way that I'll fold my clothes. I will actually fold the clothes two different ways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to have a fight about it. It's not like it's hard to fold the way she wants to fold so i just fold it that way <laughs> and i'm fine and i did i wasn't like you must fold my clothes this way it was like hey my stuff fits in my drawers better this way so could you please fold it this way and then he did and it was like you don't have to i'll fold it eventually one day if i don't wear it first <laughs> <laughs> but it bugs him to have it in a basket, so... Well, yeah, because then when it comes around for the next laundry day, we've still got a ton of clean clothes in this basket that's not put away. <laughs> I'm like, I need the basket for the dirty clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like the whole the whole kitchen and cooking dilemma with the clean kitchen, which, by the way, has Johnny gone to clean the kitchen? I think Jonathan's sleeping. I tried to call him and knock on his door. I asked Samuel to clean the kitchen, so... Okay. Um, yeah. So the 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 whole thing about having a, a a work area ready to go for cooking. It's kind of like that. When I get home and I need to go cook, I like to have the kitchen clear so that I can have my room to cook. The laundry, I like to have my basket clear so I have room to put the dirty clothes in it. <laughs> yeah. I got it. But, you know, I hate folding clothes, so I hate doing a lot of things, don't I? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> There's another way we don't argue. <laughs> we're not gonna have we're not gonna have an argument on a podcast, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and 
the honest to god truth is we weren't gonna have an argument anyway (laughs) (laughs) oh my gosh you're killing me tonight oh my gosh oh man so but still no comment (laughs) (laughs) there's another reason why we don't argue is because you keep your mouth shut (laughs) instead of putting your foot in it (sighs) some questions do not need answers (laughs) though apparently some of them do because then she'll ask me did you ever answer me on that yeah, speaking of which, uh, the cows wanted to know if we were going to do the the Walmart thing, the Walmart Plus thing. And I think I even asked you about that. Yes, you had. And then this, this weekend turned into poopy anyway for shopping stuff. So It did, but also with the Plus, you get free uh, delivery fee, which is seven ninety five each week for each delivery. So... If we use it twice, it will save us money. I mean, I guess I need to actually sit down and look at the stuff because it's hard for me to absorb you explaining to me. I just, I need to. I understand needing to put your eyes on it and physically seeing it to understand it. Right, because usually when you're trying to discuss stuff like that with me, my mind is in like 40 different places. So I don't always absorb that's some fine. of it i understand when it comes that. To that you know with important stuff and everything yeah i i get it but when it's like a new concept or a new process or you know something that is not of our design it, it i can't get it to stick i i can understand that and then you have to you have to also have the budget in front of you to be able to decide if that is a good budgetary decision right that thing the the one with the d decision i wasn't trying to put words in your mouth but i think that's what i thought that's what you were going for (laughs) i really appreciate that yeah this is one of those times where i did not mind you interrupting me because that word was not coming to (laughs) the forethought (laughs) yeah and it, it situations like that it's not so much a disagreement as it is a a reaction. My intents may not be ill-willed, but sometimes if I were to interject while she's trying to find her words, it is something that affects her. Yeah. So it's not so much a disagreement on that. But the reaction to it can cause some tension, some tension or friction. So that's why when I had said that right after that, I had inter- or or said why I had said or put out the word for her. Basically, it was a knee jerk reaction to, oh, don't get mad at me because I just interrupted you. <laughs> not, not, not so much knee jerk. It was conscious. It was. Yeah. It was a, hey, you know. This is what I was doing. I wasn't trying to step over you. Yeah. So I I guess maybe to better explain that. So there have been times in our relationship where I'll be talking and due to ADHD focus and interruptions and all the kinds of things that happens when you have kids and you have ADHD, you know, we can be in the middle of a conversation and I can't think of the word. And so I'll be thinking about it and then, you know, somebody or three people might throw in different words and then I can't even remember what I was saying because I have all of these words coming out at at me and so it, it frustrates me and it makes me lose my train of thought instead of them giving me like a minute to like try and find the word, you know, so that has been something that we have discussed hold on interruption number two and a half all right so that is something that we have you know talked about before and to be honest it actually kind of triggers some ptsd from a previous relationship where um i guess that's you know that's one of the main reasons it bothers me 
is because I feel like I'm my conversation is trying to be controlled, even though it may not be. It's that's the feeling that I get because of past relationship issues. And so that's something that we've had to work through. I agree. <laughs> that was really loud. My ear balls. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> and I do know now I do know where that reference is from. It's from Archer. And I am not the only podcaster that says ear balls. Interruption number three. Okay. I think we were done with that topic. <laughs> He's going to say I agree. I concur. <laughs> See, I'm predictable. Yeah, uh huh. Uh huh. You, yeah. He only changed your word because I said that you were going to say it. Now he wants to fight, apparently. I didn't say I wanted to fight. You gonna you start and try one. You start. I can't talk. You're trying to start one. You're threatening me. Uh uh-uh, uh. I just said you're trying to start a fight. That's not threatening. <laughs> <laughs> See, disagree, laugh, and move on. <laughs> and evil look. Evil look. <laughs> side eye. <laughs> Some things are just not that serious, you know, I mean, that, and I think that's something we've both learned from previous relationships is there are just some things that are not worth arguing about. Same. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my gosh. Get your thesaurus out. Use all the words that mean the same thing. It's, it's copacetic. Copacetic. <laughs> oh my! Now I have that song in my head, <laughs> but I can't think of the. I can I can hear it, but I can't think of the the words. I'm not gonna sing it. No. You could say it. Nope. Fine. I'm not an Oasis fan. Sorry. That's from Oasis. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Fine then. I'll just have to Google it. <laughs> there she goes. I don't even know how to spell it. I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. Good. Then you can't see what I'm doing. Mm-mm. That's not it. It was one Do of you know songs what? with it is. Do you know what song I'm talking about? Sing it. I can hum it. Okay. No, I can't. I can't get it. I can't get it in my brain. It, but I don't think it was Oasis. It was more of an alternative band type thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, now we we paused to, to research, and my memory is slipping. It was Local H, not Oasis. <laughs> I knew it wasn't. I was like, no way, it can't be Oasis. I was, for some odd reason, in the back of my mind, I was thinking it was an Oasis song. Nope. I mean, maybe they have Copacetic in one of their songs, but... I think they do, but I don't remember now. But, you know, I, like I said, I was, never a fan, I was never a fan of either one of those bands. And you just don't get it. You keep it Copacetic. And you learn to accept it. You know you're so pathetic. Thanks. <laughs> Figured that timing would be good. <laughs> My wife just called me pathetic. I did not. I was quoting lyrics. I disagree. <laughs> See, laugh and move on. <laughs> I am not pathetic. <laughs> I did not ever say you were. I said you know you're so. <laughs> Evil eye. Laugh. Move on. <laughs> Nobody loves me. Everybody, Everybody hates, hates me. me. Guess I'll go eat worms. <laughs> I would never eat worms. <laughs> me either. I just I just can't. The texture I think would get to me. 
the, 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 the movement. Oh, sliminess. Ugh. Wiggling in your throat. No. Um, nope. Not. Mm -mm. I can't remember. I ate bugs somewhere. I don't remember where. I ate bugs at the insectarium. I never went to the insectarium. I'm trying to think. Gosh, memory loss. It's a real thing. So, what do you say we have a short episode this week? Well, it would match us. <laughs> For those who have never seen us in person, I am 5'2". When I first wake up, I'm 5'4". <laughs> Throughout the day, I shrink. Probably like 5'3 and a half, 5'3 and a quarter. <laughs> Sometimes you may even look closer to my height. There are many times that we say, hey, kid. That's taller than us, other than Noah. Can you reach this for me? <laughs> uh, we also have to get our leg extension apparatus very often. <laughs> uh, reference to YouTube channel. Video coming Tuesday. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I'm still not above hopping up on a counter to reach something. You know, it's getting harder and harder the, the older I get, though. That's true. <laughs> One day I'm going to slip and break a hip. I think I'm closer to that happening than you are. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the way I've been feeling lately. Oh, update on health. Okay, so I did not... I did get an answer from the doctor, but I did not have a chance to record it before the episode went out. Um, So I do have fatty liver... And I do have gallstones, and she wants me to eat a low-fat, low-carb diet, uh, come back in a couple of weeks for what's called a fibro scan, which is going to scan my liver for scarring. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's that. I guess it's going to tell us how bad it is. And I have been eating better lately. I haven't been doing the greatest, but I've been eating better, making better choices. And the last couple of days, I've been feeling a lot better than I had been. Tonight, I had too much sugar today. And so tonight, I can kind of feel a little bit meh in my liver. Um, I was not aware of the pain in my liver until the lady with the ultrasound dug into my abdomen to find my liver. And then I was like, oh, there's the pain. And then then I felt it every time I wasn't feeling good. So I kind of think she bruised me, but whatever. What are you doing? Looking up stuff. You're not paying attention to me. You're I not was. paying attention to me. You're ignoring me. What is wrong with you? I disagree. <laughs> you were supposed to come up with a different word. Where's your thesaurus when you need it? I wasn't looking up so the, the <laughs> thesaurus words. The thesaurus words? Yes, the thesaurist ones. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, you're making my side sore from so much laughing. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cut the volume on all of those laughs because they're really loud. My ear balls are gonna hurt after editing. I, I don't have your balls. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to go back in a couple of weeks for repeat blood work and the fibro scan. And then she wanted me to use the My Fitness Pal app to track my food. And I've been doing okay this weekend. I kind of didn't track it. And, you know, I'm, I'm battling the, the, you know, do I really want to put that on my log or just not eat it? And I have terrible impulse control when it comes to food. I have struggled with it my whole entire life, that, as far as I can remember. And so the only way I've ever been able to resist food is to not have it around. And that is not possible with teenage boys and them needing to eat lots of food because cheap food is not good for you speaking of food i'm feeling snacky i'm not i'm full still and i had a very small red beans and rice helping today because it was monday because it is monday it wasn't was monday it is monday 
And on that muddle fuddle mess, I'm done. Me too. So we're in agreement. This time, yes. Next time, we'll see. We'll have to battle it out. Not knock down, drag out. Instead of figuring it out. Knock down, drag out. <laughs> we'll battle it out. <laughs> Should we have a lyric battle, a dance battle, or a uh, video game battle? I'm not good at either one of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would win the dance battle. <laughs> yeah, well. Depending on the video game. <laughs> Sorry, Atari oh. Adventure. Oh my gosh, I would lose. <laughs> you have to, whoever gets to the invisible dot first wins. Oh, I would totally lose. There we go. I would totally yeah. lose that one. That's a... <laughs> It's an unfair advantage I have. <laughs> yes. He's old enough to have played many, many, many games of Atari. <laughs> I'm sticking my tongue out at him. <laughs> but I would kill with Dr. Mario. I have never played Dr. Mario. Oh, my gosh. I've played that so much. Oh, Gertrude's Puzzle. That would be the one. Again. Never played that one? Never played. Okay. That was on the Commodore 64. Gertrude's Puzzle. I don't think I ever did do Oregon's Trail. Or Oregon Trail. I played Oregon Trail on an Apple II at my grammar school. Oh, okay. I don't remember. I might have. It's, you know, memory thing. But I, we had said that we were done. So, I don't know why we deviated into video games of yesteryear because we were gonna battle it out oh yeah that's right <laughs> trying to figure out which game we would battle it out on I, th I think oregon trail and we're gonna see who dies of dysentery first <laughs> that's a great one okay <laughs> <laughs> now i'm done <laughs> me too <laughs> i'm done we appreciate you joining us for this episode of our podcast we hope that you'll join us on our next episode where we'll, we'll figure, figure it, it out. out or maybe we won't <laughs> or we'll have a big disagreement and battle it out on oregon trail <laughs> dysentery folks dysentery <laughs> that was a real thing <laughs> and fake on the game y'all have a great day <laughs> Bye.